On the occasion of World Environment Day 2024, Nigeria is joining the global community in recognizing the importance of environmental preservation to combat desertification, desertification environmental degradation, and other harmful activities that threaten the sustainability of our ecosystem. Stakeholders are being urged to take immediate action. The Director General of the Nigeria Conservation Foundation, Joseph Onoja, emphasized this message in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Love Oyedekun was there and now reports. World Environment Day is celebrated annually on June 5th worldwide to raise awareness and promote action on environmental challenges. The day puts a spotlight on environmental challenges and encourages awareness and action for the protection and restoration of the ecosystem. As in the tradition, the Nigeria Conservation Foundation NCF brought together stakeholders, partners, and selected schools across Lagos State to commemorate the day. Joseph Onoja, the Director General of NCF, spoke more on the significance of the day. Today, the World Environment Day, we are talking about land restoration. And this decade, from 2020 to 2030, is called the Decade of Ecosystem Restoration. And indeed, we need to restore our ecosystem. At the event, schools delivered a variety of presentations to raise awareness and promote environmental conservation. If deserts are limited to one-fifth of the world, the rest of the world is at the mercy of drought. We are facing problems day in, day out. All hands must be on deck to restore the world to its original glory, where flora and fauna thrive. This can only be done through conscious and deliberate actions like afforestation, waste management, and reduction of waste in the environment. This way we, sh we shall build a safer, cleaner, and restored land for the future. It starts with you. There was a unanimous agreement among stakeholders and students that collective efforts are crucial to combat the issue and protect the environment. Even during the time of creation, the habitat God has made the um, Garden of Eden, you would see that it is what is still on right now. And we owe a responsibility to ensure that we maintain livelihood for those um, of the animals that we came to meet in their habitat. The most significant thing about World Environment Day is the change that we as humans can create in order to create a more eco-friendly world and reduce climate change and environmental disasters in order to keep our planet healthy and safe for other people and our future children and generations. They expressed disappointment over the inadequacy of current environmental policies and actions which have not translated into practical and lasting solutions. You go to really developed countries and then you wonder what is going on there. I mean, everywhere is so neat and everybody confirms, even ourselves, even when we do travel over there, we find out that we confirm to what the country's policies are. But then we come back home and then we throw everything that we have learned away. So, I mean, whatever we are doing down here is going to have an effect of us. So until we have um, laws put in place to say that people are punished for it or know that there are consequences for it or so, that will give us a mindset of ownership. The United Nations Convention estimates that up to 40% of the planet's land is degraded, directly impacting half of world's population and threatening roughly half of global GDP. Additionally, the report states that the number and duration of droughts have increased by 29% since 2000. Warning that without urgent actions, droughts may affect over three quarters of the world's population by 2050. This year's World Environment Day campaign focuses on land restoration, desertification, and drought resilience under the slogan, Our Land, Our Future. Love Oyedoku, Plus TV News.